This is our all mod show, so it seems fitting to start off with a mod. Why not? Yes, let's <laughs> take a look at what Yoshi has cooked up for us. The only the first thing you've cooked up for us today. What is this? Well, essentially, this is a computer. Okay. Um, this is an MP3 <laughs> player. I decided, you know, I got a little sick of playing all my MP3s through my desktop system. Mm -hmm. It looks ugly. It doesn't go on a PC, you know, stereo rack. Why not build something that's meant to go exactly. on a stereo rack? So, you know, I like that, that wood side. You know, it's a little, little retro, but mm -hmm. I like the, the yeah, wood incorporated 70s. sides, it's you know. smooth. <laughs> well, it's, you know, nice walnut. Yes. Got to use a good wood. <laughs> and essentially what's inside is uh, I have a Via Epia Mini ITX uh, motherboard, a little 800 megahertz motherboard, 170 mm -hmm. millimeter square, nice small footprint. Um, I got an M Audio sound card, real nice studio quality sound card. How much would this sound card be? This sound about? card runs about $300. All right. This is the most expensive part in the entire system. Okay, so you didn't just yank this out of one of our PCs? <laughs> no, no, no. We purchased <laughs> this specifically for this. Okay. All right, um, what else we got in here? Power supply that's a little modded open. This isn't meant to be open because you could touch it and shock yourself. Right. So that meant to be closed. Mm -hmm. um, slot loading DVD drive so I can have this, the nice slot in the front there. Nice. Um, Western Digital Special Edition 120 gigabyte hard drive. Ooh. Nice 8 megabyte buffer. And of course you gotta know what's playing so Matrix Orbital VFD display. Right. And uh, this nice little power mate up here. It was working when I tested it on the laptop mm -hmm. but it's not working now. Oh. <laughs> and that's supposed to change your system volume, cycle through playlists if you don't want to use the uh, pocket PC interface that I'm going to be showing you how to use. All right. Well, how did you decide on this design? I like the top there. Did you dremel those holes in there? No. I, I've had bad luck dremeling plastic. I tend to break it. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> so I got a drill press for this, laid it all out, did it, and it just comes out nice and clean if you use a drill press. That's, yeah, that's pretty. And the design itself, I use, uh, I got a piece of cardboard basically. I'm like, okay, I know it needs to be 17 inches wide because that's a standard width for a stereo system and pretty much a standard 14 for the depth. Right. And I just cut out a 17 by 14 block, laid all my components out so I can figure out how everything is going to work space wise. Because mm -hmm. if you just go start, you can measure it and do it in theory, but it just doesn't work all the time. Right. So I wanted to make sure it worked in practicality. Practically. So smart design. Okay, what are your tips for viewers planning to do this on their own? The biggest tip is start with a mock-up like in cardboard, something like that. Okay. Um, my brackets, I, I just bought little uh, business card like card holders from like a plastic supply store uh -huh. and cut those up to make brackets rather oh. than having to buy special plastic, bend it or get metal and bend it to make brackets. Um, the biggest tip is improvise. Find things that you can cut up to make the parts you need rather than trying to specially make them or special order specific parts that are a lot more expensive. Yeah. S speaking of expensive, how much did this all cost? All total in about $600. Hmm, that's not bad. No, not at all. And uh, could you cut the price down? You were talking a little bit about buying different parts. Um, I could cut the price down a little bit. I mean, the the VFD display pushed the price up a little bit just because mm -hmm. that's it's not really a function, that's just more for form. Right. So you could get rid of that if you don't need that. You right. could get but rid of this power But that's for showing off when you have people well, over. Well, of course, you want it to look nice. <laughs> exactly. You know? It's got to look nice. Exactly. <laughs> How long did it take you to create this whole? All total, it took me probably about 20 hours to build. Not bad. Not too bad not at all. Not bad, mostly in the middle of the night, I can bet. Yeah, I, I tend <laughs> to do a lot of work in the wee hours of the morning. Yeah, that's when you <laughs> work best. All right, well, what was your inspiration for this project? My inspiration is I, I wanted to listen to music and I didn't want to have to touch anything, to walk up to anything, go to the computer screen, go to the, uh, the player itself to change songs. I want to control all my songs. It's like, this is a small example. Every Smashing Pumpkin CD. I have hundreds of CDs. I don't have time to change them. Right. <laughs> well, we'll learn about how you can wirelessly do that in a little bit. But go to thescreensavers.com for the parts list and tips for building your own. We're going to have a, another mod, but then we'll come back, look at Project Orpheus again, see how it all hooked up, and talk software. So stick around to find out what makes this beast run.